guys, it's me, Desiree Marie, and I'm back. Today I just want to sit down and chit chat with you, kind of let you in on my thoughts. Um, and I guess as I'm talking to myself, um, I realized that you have to talk to yourself. You have to talk to yourself a whole lot um, as an adult, as a person. I mean, if you don't talk to yourself, you really are crazy because talking to yourself, especially when you're by yourself, you need to form your thoughts, um, even if that is in the form of speaking out loud or journaling. I'm really big in journaling, so um, yeah, I just want to let you in on what I've been doing in, in my dialogue pretty much with myself these past few days. Um, so you already know that I'm in a transition. I have already moved to my very own apartment. Um, if you think that I moved back home, that was a but up because I did not go back home. No, I didn't. But I am uh, temporarily staying at my mom's house so that, you know, I can spend some time with the family and just enjoy them and then get back on to business as usual. But during this time, I've had time to reflect and really just think about things. And, um, you know, I, I've just been thinking about things, enjoying my family, but also looking within and um, just kind of wrestling with different, uh, different things inside of my mind. Um, today, I just, I, I, you know, after just thinking so many thoughts through, um, seeing so many things, uh, that has happened since the very beginning of this year because there's been so many transitions in my life so many different things happening so much change and I'm like I did my my personality test and I came up as an INFP which is an introverted person who is um, highly creative highly sensitive and what else we're just kind of an awkward group. I don't know. If you don't know your personality type, I definitely do encourage you to take the, I think it's called the Briggs personality test. I'll link it down below. But um, I took the test and they tell me, you know, they tell you all about yourself. Like when I took the test, I was so like amazed at the very things that they were telling me because it was all true. It's not astrology. It's not some kind of like spiritual thing, but it's based on personality type. And I am the INFP personality type and for us we're deeply we're, we're just really in tune with what's going on inside we're highly sensitive beings um, this comes out in our creativity and our passion for art and expression and so with that high sensitivity a lot of us are spiritual um, or we're like deeply involved in the human you know just being the, the 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 cause of humanity and bettering uh bettering society and people and and we we take on certain careers such as like you know something having to do with children or animals because we're really sensitive we're even sensitive to animals and um those that don't have a voice so I, I kind of ramble with that, but just to let you know, that is my person personality type, and I realized that my personality type also plays a part in how I deal with change. There's been so many changes since the beginning of this year that, like, I am the type of person that I, like, I like to process things, <laughs> and when so much is going on, it's just really hard to step back and, like, reflect I love to reflect I'm the type of person that's always looking within and questioning myself from the inside which is a good and a bad thing when you know it's a good thing when done right it's a bad thing when you just overthink and over analyze things but for me um, I like to reflect on the things that are happening around me and actually have a mind to kind of organize organize how I deal with certain things and compartmentalize things um, and I guess it's kind of like a, a a place where I want to be in control so mentally I try to keep things under wraps and in control and organized while all 
like stuff is going on change and ch good stuff too good change and um, just stuff a whole lot of stuff going on um, I'm just that type of person I, I don't know I can't express it as good as I can write it <laughs> um, that's another uh, quirk in my personality type and you know I'm not gonna blame it oh because I have this personality type like I'm restricted to being this one person no I'm trying to develop more uh, and this is why I'm on YouTube in the first place to develop my speaking and being able to share my thoughts with others in a way that is expressive and um, and effective as much as I write but I mean right now I just kind of accept that I can write a whole lot better than I can express things um, verbally and that's not anything bad that's actually something you know it's, it's a good thing um, but yeah so much change so much things happening that I just I, I need to reflect so today um, I got my journal Actually, last night I went back home, got my journal, my Bible, my devotional, and I brought it with me so that I can have some time to write my thoughts out. Um, writing your thoughts out is so powerful because for me, it allows me to actually see my mind on paper and realize, okay, it's not so bad. You know, it's not as bad when you see it out on paper than when it's still in your brain and you have no outlet, no source to actually release. Um, you need a sense of, you need release, um, you know, whether it be speaking to your friends, your family, or a counselor, like someone that you can talk to, someone, because we weren't built to just be isolated, we were built to, to fellowship and communicate. And um, when you have thoughts rolling around in your mind, that you're wrestling with, it's great to pull out a sheet of paper and just start writing and, and not even have like a certain format for writing for your writing or proofread or feel the need to edit or quality control your writing, but just write. Just write every random thought that comes in your mind. And then when you reread it, you realize, wow, okay, I understand myself a little bit better. I understand where I could um, could possibly improve and what solution could come out of this or even how to pray about my situation based on what I'm writing here. So um, yeah, I think that writing is a very great tool. For me, I write. I write a whole lot. I even have a blog online. If you have not checked it out, it is DesireInspires.com. I write a lot about the things that I go through and how God helps me. Um, you know, I, I just talk about it here, like just a snippet of what I deal with, but everything else is on the blog. So if you want to read more and get to know me a lot more, the blog is up and it's, it's a great tool, um, even for encouragement. So if you need encouragement, go check out the blog. So, um, this morning, right, this morning I sat down and I was just thinking of, you know, just thinking about a lot of stuff. Um, I do a lot of my reflections and thinking in the morning and I talk to God like you, you guys already know. I sit down and I read my Bible and I think and I pray and I, I just sort my thoughts out for the day. And I realize that in this season that I'm in where so many great things are happening, um, it feels bittersweet because there's so many great things happening but so many things that kind of cause me a little like uneasy in a sense um, as I'm growing it's like it's a painful growth um, without letting you know without talking too much it's like a painful growth and I've just been so intuitive where I'm thinking so much about putting my mind more on the half that feels like pain rather than enjoying the beauty of what God is doing even though you guys see me talk about what God is doing, I still do have moments where I think about, well, look at that side where things feel painful and this is not working out and that's not going according to what I wanted and blah, blah, blah. And I have questions about where, you know, about my future and uh, you know, the adult questions. I have questions that I've not been an answered. Like, it, it's like a mix of the good, the best of times and the craziest of times. 
so um I've just kind of been weighed down about that side of my life that things are not going according to what I planned or what I would like for my life that I've just been kind of like in a place of kind of like you know like emotionally like mm, don't know whether to enjoy or what I just realized this morning look you gotta enjoy your life you got to enjoy your life Desiree you deserve it you deserve to enjoy your life you enjoy you you deserve to enjoy 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 and that was just that was just the word that came to me enjoy enjoy sure there are things that could be better sure you know you 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 feel kind of uneasy with transition and so many changes take the time to enjoy take the time to enjoy the beauty and the growth of the moment and enjoy yourself you're 29 years old you got your life ahead of you enjoy yourself enjoy yourself enjoy your life be happy be happy have the joy of the Lord which is your strength trust and believe that God has great greater things greater things than what you may be dealing with right now greater things on the other side and he even says in his word those that trust in the Lord will never be put to shame so as long as you're trusting God there's no way you could be put to shame there's no way that God will leave you out there looking crazy God is always going to cover those who he loves and those that he has invested so much in he's always going to make sure that you're good you know so I just I, I've been looking around and seeing a lot of my friends too like they're in a season of transition as well where they're stepping into the unknown or, or something different that they've never done before and it is a scary place because it's a place where you you don't feel exactly you don't feel exactly like secure and you've got questions and it feels like God is silent you know and he's not speaking and he's not talking but you're in this unsure place where it's rocky and you don't know what it's going to be like ahead of you you don't know the next steps but you're you're walking by faith and it's like it feels like your world all that you've known to be secure and um and 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 sure it's like it, you 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 now have to readjust your life to a new normal kind of adjusting to a new normal and embracing a new normal where it's faith and i have questions i have questions for days for god you know i have many questions but he's not exactly answering them and i just have to remember the story where the disciples in the bible where the disciples were on the boat and Jesus was asleep and he wasn't saying anything and the storms were raging around them on the boat and I could imagine I would be freaked out I would be freaked out and um, they, they woke up Jesus they're like Jesus don't you care that we're about to perish we're out here on this boat the storms are raging don't you care why are you asleep why are you asleep Jesus don't you see things happening all around you? Are you that much of a deep sleeper that you're not alert to what's going on around you? And Jesus woke up and rebuked the winds and said, peace be still. Did he say that? <laughs> but he rebuked the winds and then he got on them and said, you have little faith. Um, you know, and it's like, God is with you, you know, it, it, and I have to remind myself that even when I don't exactly hear him or sense him, you know, I like to sense things a little bit. I don't exactly sense his spirit sometimes, um, especially in this place of transition where I'm kind of like walking on faith as an adult, walking on faith, doing things that I've never done before. And I kind of do like the security in knowing that okay God is like all right girl you got you I got you you do this you do that I'm so used to um, my mom telling me okay do this do this do that but now I'm an adult and I'm walking on faith and I don't hear exact I don't exactly hear the instructions on what to do a B C all the way to Z so I have to lean on God and when I'm leaning on God while I'm leaning on God I don't exactly hear his voice I don't exactly hear the answers 
of the questions that I have. God, what is what is what is going to you know? What steps should I take towards this? What will it look like five years from now? God, don't you care how I feel in this moment? And blah blah blah. And He's like, I'm here with you in this boat. I'm not saying anything, but I'm here. And just the assurance of knowing that I'm here, that should be enough for you. Just know I'm here. I, I know all that you're dealing with. And you don't hear me right now, but I see you. And I'm praying for you, yet praying for you, making intercession for your on your behalf to God in heaven. And I hear you. I know that you're there. I know that you're, you've got these questions. I know that you're unsure of yourself right now. I know how I wired you. I know that you're a highly sensitive being and you want to know different things that's going on in your life and you're kind of scared of change and you're dealing with a lot of change. I know, but I'm here. <laughs> so with that assurance and knowing that God is here, it's kind of a waste of time to not enjoy your life. Even in the Bible it says, how many of you can add a single moment to your life by worrying? You're worrying about your life. You're worrying about the questions that have not been answered. You're worrying about when you're going to get married, when you're going to have children, when you're going to reach the high point in your life where you feel secure in every area of your life. You're waiting for that right moment. How many hours or just minutes can you add to your life by worrying about those things? You're not adding anything to your life. In fact, you're actually wasting your life keeping your mind stressed on those things rather than being proactive and solution oriented and saying, you know what, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm going to enjoy the moment. I'm going to enjoy the season that I'm in anyway. That's where I am right now. That was like the eureka this morning that, you know what, I am going to enjoy my life. I'm going to enjoy this season because this season has value. Even though things are not exactly going my way and in, in different areas of my life, I can look at the things that God is doing, that God has done, and know that I know who God is. Even if I don't exactly hear his voice and know what he wants me to do here and there and there, I know him. I know him for myself. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy my life. God has created you and he's invested so much in you that you owe it to yourself to enjoy the person that he has made you to be you are everywhere that you go and i realized that like this girl this woman is everywhere i go from from birth till death to his part <laughs> you know so i have to protect that sense of loving myself in, in, in order to enjoy my life and you got to you got to love yourself enough to enjoy your life and not be so wallowed with worry fear pity sorrow doubt despair and all of that stuff you got to pick yourself up and say you know what I'm not where I want to be but I'm going to enjoy my life anyway I'm going to love me I'm going to relearn how to love me and love God and as you're loving God you're gonna love who you are because you are a reflection of him so I'm kind of rambling I don't know if this makes any sense at all but it really is a relief to me to just be able to speak it out and um, like I said in the beginning of the video like sometimes you just have to have those moments where you just talk to yourself like of course you're not gonna do all of this in public but take a moment and talk to yourself. Talk to God. Pray to God. Write out, write out your thoughts on a journal. Type it out on a computer and save it in a file. Do something, but don't just carry around this sense of uneasiness as you are in a transition in your life where you're, you're stepping out on faith and you're very unsure of, this, of things that are going on and the things that you're about to go into. Um, me, I'm 29 years old, and yes, I do want to be married. I do want to have a family. I do want to have that, that life, you know? There's a certain mindset that you have reaching 30 years old that you start to quicken up and you start to get really serious about, okay, where's my life going? You really think a lot. Um, so I guess that's me right now, like just thinking a lot and 
just kind of thinking about my life and where I want to be um, in this next season of life. Um, you know, 30 years old is a big step. So I want to go into the age of 30 having my mind intact and knowing where I'm going. Um, and that's in the form of questions. And it's very normal to have questions for God because God has all the answers and he's not going to tell you all of the answers right away so in the moment we're here like kind of like what what's going on god but in the meantime in the meantime of us asking those questions and not exactly receiving it not exactly knowing what's before us we owe it to ourselves to enjoy ourselves and take care of ourselves and love ourselves anyway you might be single love yourself anyway you might not have children right now love your season anyway it's something that i'm learning right now i have not perfected it but this is kind of like an encourage yourself session right now and i'm hoping that it encourages you as well i can go on and on and on about this subject right now but i think i'm going to end the video here so thank you for watching my rambling session kind of talking to myself and talking to you and all of that stuff i hope that you were encouraged i hope that you enjoy your life and you take the energy of the moment that you could be using to worry and fear and doubt yourself take all of that energy and love yourself and pursue the passions that you have and make your life count don't waste your life don't waste your life another moment in a place where you're only dwelling on the negative rather than embracing the positive the fact that you've got another day that god blessed you with another day to live you know to live he died for you to live an abundant life why are we wasting our lives in in it with 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 areas in our life that really we should not be wasting our life fearing and 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 doubting ourselves and stagnated look let's just throw all of that out of the out of the window and enjoy ourselves enjoy our lives and make it count for something in every season of life whether you're sure or unsure whether you are a millennial like me young adult still trying to figure out her life love yourself so yeah guys thanks for watching i'm going to edit this right now and put it up hopefully it encourages you in your faith um and that you are encouraged and inspired and if you have any things that you would like for me to talk about any topics that you'd like for me to talk about let me know because i would love to create a video just for you answering your questions could be about anything and anything 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 um i just i just love these sessions where i just sit down and talk to you so yes guys anyway i've been trying to end this video for the past what two 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 minutes um, I'm going to yeah end the video right now. Hopefully you've been encouraged. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye